Well, it's a busy day here at Greensfelder Park in Wildwood, Missouri. We've got horses, we've got campers, and we've got the Deer Run Trail. Two and a half mile loop. We're gonna set off. Well, as it is a Saturday, as you can imagine, switch over here away from the sun, the park is crowded. Uh, Greensfelder is a great multi-use park. Uh, bikes, horses, campers, hikers, runners, just a little bit of everything for everybody. Um, so watch your step, Got plenty of piles of poop. And uh, this, this, this loop I have not done yet. Generally when I come to a park, I always hedge towards the longest loop or longest trail there. So some of these shorter ones, this is what is great about doing these video reviews is getting a chance to get out and do a few more of those that I haven't done before. So we're gonna experience this one together. As you can see, we're starting out on a nice big wide trail, uh, a nice mash down gravel trail. And uh, two trails here share this, this beginning and then we're gonna branch off up here in just a little bit. I'll show you the sign and our placards. So as you can see, lots of trails at this park. Have you viewed this one? Today we're doing this one. So we're gonna be blazed in yellow today. And we're going to uh, branch off here at this first intersection. You're gonna see three ways. There's a little parking lot right up the hill here. That's one direction. Our direction is the middle trail. And over to the left is the Eagle Valley one we've done previously on reviews. So let's set out and check out the deer, the deer valley, deer run. It's right off the get. We got a little bit of scenery here. here. Comes the main park ranger station, right to our right and right along the trail as we start out. Looks like some picnic area underneath. And some facilities up top. Nice little start. So while I haven't hiked this trail, I've actually done a family hay ride on this trail with some friends and our, my wife and kids. Obviously it was dark, but one thing I did notice about the trail is that quite a bit of it cuts along the Allenton Road here. Uh, which by the way, if you're ever in the area, hopefully to come hike, Allenton Road from Six Flags to Highway 100 is one of the most beautiful stretches of road you'll find. It's a biker's paradise for road bikers because of its windy curves and just beautiful views. You have equestrian properties all throughout with horses lining the road in the pastures. And then a lot of the road cuts through the park and through its wooded areas. Just a beautiful spot. But uh, this trail does kind of hug it for a little while and then we'll branch back off into the woods. All right, so as I explained earlier, we hike along the road here, but we do go drop a low grade. So you'll see cars passing us up above. We're gonna drop a low grade of the road and we're gonna venture off here and create some space between us and the road and head out into the wilderness and uh, see what's cool to see. Well, we switched from hiking along the Allenton Road to hiking along the main road inside the park. As you can see, this is a pretty desolate area of the park though. Not a lot of areas to park or stop or anything, so pretty much basically just wilderness here for a little bit. So as I often try to do, I'm going to counterclockwise on this trail today. As you can see, we've dropped off into the woods, a little bit away from everything. I would say the uh, there's a lot of intermingling trails here. And I had a decision back there where there was no sign. And I chose to stay left. Um, I'll know if I'm right or wrong when I come along the next signpost. Uh, remember, we're yellow blaze today with a, a deer stag on it. Um, one good thing about this park, though, with all the intermingling trails is the main road does like a half moon through the park. If you get outside of that road, there's only one or two trails you should be on. If you stay inside of that road, you're gonna easily find your way back even if you do get lost or switched up on the trails. So at this point, I may be on the Green Rock and I may be on the uh, Deer Run, but we're gonna find out soon enough. 
So in these multi-use trails, you're gonna come across other people and they're gonna be doing other things, whether it's horses, mountain biking, running. The way that it breaks down on the yields is that everyone yields to horses. Bikers yield to everybody. And hikers, you know, they're supposed to yield to horses and have their ride away with bikers. Since I'm moving the slowest out of everybody, I tend to just move off the trail. I'm gonna be out here a while. I'm not racing anything. I just kinda move off to the side and let people do their thing. It, it just seems to be easier that way. All right, some vindication for me and my sense of direction. Here we are, we're on the right path, but also it's shared with Green Rock at the same time and with the Bella Trail and another one that I don't recognize the symbol for. But uh, it appears, I took a little bit of a cut through actually though, because the sign up the hill here, I came from down below. The sign up here has the, uh, the markings for our trail, but either way we ended up in the same spot. And now we move on. If anything, it looks like I stayed away from the road a little bit and more in the woods, which for me is always a positive. All right, well, we've hit the sweet spot of this trail. Traversing down this little uh, hillside, a couple switchbacks, some drainage ravines, but now we're just riding along the ridges. Forest has kind of opened up. You can see for a little bit. It's, you know, it's a busier day out here on the trail on the weekend. A lot of mountain bikers flying by, but they always make for good watching. Just passed a couple who both had repairs on their bikes right now. They're trying to get their chain back on on one and fix a tire on the other. But here we are down at the bottom creek bed. As you can see, the, the uh, environment has changed quite a bit around from what we started at. We're down in the bottoms here in these lower, more humid and moist areas getting some different plants and and uh, just some good reviews great path so far not a lot of obstructions at all as I talked about earlier a lot of trails in this park and a lot of intertwining so remember we are today yellow placard we're gonna make a right and head down along this valley all right, so one of the reasons I do these videos and reviews for these trails is sometimes the signage leaves something to be hoped for, I guess you'd say. Um, and the trails aren't always as clear as they probably need to be. And that's not even the park's fault. That's just the number of travelers on them. So we joined up with the Eagle, Eagle Valley and Green Rock here for about 200 yards. You come up and here's another sign. So you can see, maybe, our deer one is heading straight off left and Green Rock and Eagle Valley are gonna head, keep going straight forward. So ours though, if I was to show you, there's not much there. So what you do is you cut left immediately. There's a little bit of sand here they've put down for drainage. You're gonna cross this large creek bed and then you're gonna head up into this hill and up this little remnant of a path. Now the problem is when the trees drop their leaves on a hill, there's not a lot to, uh, indicate where the trail is so there has some people that put up some little signs tied ribbons and so forth kind of let you know where the crossing's at so we're going to head up this hill and it's not a small one okay so about 100 feet up that hill we got a little placard here let's just know we're back on trail and now you can see it a little bit and be able to follow along all right so the placard wasn't the stop for the uphill though we're still going up, up, and away. We're gonna ride this ridge all the way to the top and uh, see where we go from there. All right, well, here's our placard pointing downhill. So I guess we're gonna have to do a couple of hills here in the middle of this trail. This is definitely not a highly used area here. And we're relatively close to the main road of the park. But now I can see why. We're going up, down, up, down, some pretty sizable ridges. Okay, with these rugged sections, with this loose rock and these huge hills, they're definitely the hiker area. Don't get a lot of mountain bikers or horses back here. So, as such, we're catching all the webs as the first ones on the trail today back here. Alright, huffing and puffing. 
Well, we've peaked our double hilltop. We're still on track with our placard here. As you can see up ahead, we're back to mirroring the uh, park road and riding along. And man, I'll tell you what, for a two and a half miler, those hills were no joke. And there was definitely some horse imprints on those, on those uphills. It tends to loosen up the rocks and make it a little harder to get up. So watch your footing. And remember, those big loose rocks are the ones you gotta really keep an eye on. Because you plant all your weight on a rock that moves. That's when you're going places and not good places. Okay, so we're over halfway on this hike and another hill. But I just wanna let you know, front and back of this hike, there's restrooms. But halfway through, you're gonna get to the highest point you think you can get to. And the reason that is because you, you look all the way around you and everything's below you, except for one thing. And across the street, if you can make out, there's a brown fence kind of shielding it, but being inside of that is a uh, porta potty in case you need to use the facilities, which is always nice halfway through a hike. I just wish they didn't hide it. All right, so up here at the top of the hill, give you a little idea how far we've come up. I don't even know if it really comes through, but if you look at the skyline there in the horizon, everything's below you. We are up there. Okay, once again, we're joining up with the Eagle Valley Trail, as you can see here on the placards. One thing kind of remember on this trail is you're gonna hug the road. So anytime you see a sign like that, maybe it's slightly confusing. Opt for the trail that's along the road, and that'll be our deer run. And I think I can see uh, some parking lot up ahead. So we should be getting close. All right, having been on this trail quite, not this trail, but this park quite a bit, this is one of those spots that I've been to before and it's very confusing. You're gonna come along, you're hiking the trail, both signs saying this way, and then you're gonna come to a, a cross here. Well, there's no signage left or right. We're gonna hug right. I believe that is the way back to where we were. I know it is. Um, that's why it's kind of important to keep, keep your sense of where you're at. And there is cell coverage here. Pop open your map app. See where you're at in relation to the park and in relation to the road. And that uh, if you ever have any question, that generally will help. Now, the farther out, or farther out trails are generally going to be signed better. But as you can see right here, and this is a great example, hidden up in these weeds behind all this growth is a sign showing us. So it looks like the trail evolved a little bit and the signage is antiquated in the fact that it's still back on the old trail and not on the new section. Okay, here we are at the end. We parked in the equestrian area, which is a really easy to find landmark. We have this little pump house here for the waterworks. And we'll come up over this ridge and there's our sign and there's our parking lot and there's our car. Okay, so Deer Run Trail, two and a half miles. A lot of hills, a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, you know, be alert for other people on the trail. Uh, bring definitely want to bring some water to this one. A lot of bug spray. Um, tennis shoes or boots, you'll be fine. It's pretty dry because of the because of the hills. But once again, we're at Greensfelder Park in Wildwood, Deer Run Valley, Deer Run Trail. And uh, till next time, hike more. As always, if you want to find out more about trails and hikes around this area, go to my Facebook page, The Avid Hiker. Be sure to follow. And uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. Uh, subscribe on YouTube, no fee. But you get an email notification about what trails I'm doing and what trails I've reviewed. And you can check them out. Thank you for all your support. Hike more.